The first time I watched Tracy Beaker was in 2010. Tracy Beaker returns. <laughs> oh, coming home from school, it was on on TV. <laughs> Oh, nostalgia. Then in 2013, I watched The Dumping Ground. <laughs> and 10 years later, I watched the story of Tracy Bingo. <laughs> finally. <laughs> so I've been keep watching in the wrong order. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna finally watch my mom, Tracy Bingo, and the big girl. So, so this is the final chapter of Jason Show's story. Tracy Bingo. The TV show, My Mom, Tracy Bingo. It can also be a movie. But I watched it in three parts. <laughs> so it's about from the book My Mom Tracy Beaker. She's grown up now with her own kid, Jesse Beaker. <laughs> the story follows Tracy and her daughter try to escape the financial. They don't live in a nice neighborhood, everything is down. But Tracy is known by everyone. You don't mess with Tracy. <laughs> she works free jobs. Oh, respect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grinding. So Jess' father is not around for now. <laughs> so Tracy starts kickboxing. And there she meet Sean Goodfrey. <laughs> so he's a former footballer, now a millionaire with his own, yeah, yeah. He has known Tracy before when he was a kid. This is the first time we hear about Sean. Having fun time, get to know each other. Jess doesn't like him. And, but he brings the pink Cadillac, what? <laughs> From the movie Tracy Baker, the movie of me. And they go visit Sean's house where we meet Justin Littlewood. What? <laughs> Oh, they are both grown up now. <laughs> and we also meet Carly, Tracy's really mom. <laughs> Everyone is coming back, we meet Cam. <laughs> but it turns out that Sean is shielding on Tracy with Justin. Ah, oh, na 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 na. Of course, the leaving is a fight, but in the end, they become friends. Good terms. And a wedding now? Are they back together? It's Cam and just teach her, Mary. <laughs> Who marries? Each other. Oh. So Sean and Tracy doesn't get married, they're just friends. At the wedding, we also meet Peter. It's not the same guy, but uh, the character Peter. <laughs> Driving to the beach, they see a store, the dumping ground. Okay. <laughs> and bam! To be continued. <laughs> and that was my mom, Tracy Beaker. <laughs> I haven't read the book. I don't know if they're close to the book, the storyline by Jacqueline Wilson, but uh, I kinda enjoy it actually sometimes. <sighs> I'm too grown up for this. <laughs> but uh, it's so cool to see Tracy, Justin, grown ups now. Oh. And they mention Louise! We didn't got to see her, but they mentioned Louise. But they released a music video for Sunday Kid What? <laughs> Where we meet Louise! Oh, she all grown up now. And we also meet Elaine the Pain. <laughs> I can't find if this music video is official music video or just a music video they made for fun. But uh, it was really fun to see them all. Next, later in the year, we have the big girls to continue of the storyline. So this is two series, not a movie. So the series one has five episodes. Jess and Tracy are living with a new life at the seaside, but they arrive with a teenage runaway, Jordan. It's about to change everything for the big girls. So a new place, they live at the beach as we saw at the end. I think it's South End. I'm not sure here. So they have a movie, they have a new friend, Flo, who owns the store, the dumping ground. So Tracy got a job there. In the first episode, yes, goes to get the ice cream, but the thief comes. And it turns out it was Jordan, who, who's a runaway. Her parents are left her, she doesn't want to be in care. They become friends, and yes, also become friends with Patient. <laughs> That's such a sick name, you know. Patient, have some patient. <laughs> Oh, but her nickname is Posh. We also got to meet Sean and Tyrone. They're also back. And of course, Justin Little. <laughs> she wants to tell something to Tracy, but it doesn't come out. She's pissed off about Sean. Here we also meet Cam again, and this time a new incoming. Just real dad. In the last episode, it turns out Justin is pregnant with Sean. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's been pissed off all the time. And she gives birth at right at Christmas. Steve! Steven! <laughs> Inspired by the father's name. <laughs> and that's the end of series one. <laughs> so two years later, we got series two. And I just straight up to episode eight, where we meet Elaine the Pain. <laughs> oh, what a cameo. What an episode. Just like the good old days. <laughs> she's now to publish her own book with a story with 
Stacy. <laughs> She tell a lot of stories back in the day from the first episode when Tracy broke Justin's clock. Oh, yo, yo. So if you hop on to the last episode, Tracy is got into an accident. She hit her head. So just that is a rumor. If Tracy is a safe place for her kid, a good mom, to bring her to court, full custody. Okay. <laughs> I actually know this feeling, this experience. I have been through this with the parent about splitting up. Yeah. So I, I know this feeling. So before I end the real court, they arise our uh, own court, <laughs> the trial of Tracy Baker <laughs> with Justin as the judge. It's not looking good for the defense, so they bring on the big guns. Mike is back! <laughs> Mike Milligan! Oh, the best head take of all time! Oh, the story of Tracy Baker! Tracy Baker returns! The dumping ground! <sighs> He is back to go! When I saw this scene, oh my eyes really started watering, oh! <sighs> Con over! <O'Brien. laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo! Oh, has that place in my heart? <laughs> oh, Connor! It's really nice to see him again. He's now 60 years old. He's ready to retire now, but he still came back as a nice cameo. <laughs> oh, I really want to meet him one day. So he tells many stories that Tracy is the perfect mom. So the parents come to the They don't need to go to a real court. It ends all happily at the beach. That's one of my favorite episodes from Tracy Baker Returns. When they are at the beach, the beach houses. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. And this ends gliding off. At the sun is so at the beach. <laughs> oh, what a ending! And that was the Baker Girls! As you can see, I have skipped out a lot in the story. It's because I. I really enjoyed sometimes when Justin and Tracy are all going up, Cam, Elaine, and Mike. I really enjoyed that scene when they are going up. <laughs> but the rest of the story, I'm gonna be a little bit harsh there, but. Uh, I didn't enjoy <laughs> Maybe because I'm too grown up now. I only enjoy the nostalgia part. So I think my mom, Tracy Baker, and the Baker girls of a new generation of Baker fans around the world. Or the UK. <laughs> but I think all around is a alright show. <laughs> but this is the end of Jason Tracy Baker. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, hope you make some nostalgia for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a journey it's been. Started watching in 2010, three years later, The Dumping Ground. I kept continuing watching The Dumping Ground in 2023 to series 10. And then finally watched the story of Tracy Baker, also the movie. And now, one year later, my mom, Tracy Baker, and the Baker Girls. <laughs> the Tracy franchise has a place in my heart. <laughs> if they ever do a future show about Tracy Baker or The Dumping Ground series 12, I will not be watching because I'm too grown up now. <laughs> it has to end. <laughs> but if I ever have children, I'll be coming back and watching with them. Hopefully I have. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'll see you the next time. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Danny Hamill. Homo. <laughs>